how to easily and fast synchronize subtitles in your videos using Subtitle Edit 365. In a previous video, I showed you how to auto-translate and subtitle your videos using Subtitle Edit. And that works great as long as there is speech recognition available for your language. But what if there isn't? Adding all your subtitles manually at the right time is very time consuming. In this video, I'll show you a great trick that will help you finish subtitling your videos in no time. I'll show you what I did myself with one of my videos spoken in the Hebrew language for which Subtitle Edit does not have a speech recognition engine. I had my original text in a Hebrew Word document, including images that I copied and pasted as text only and saved afterwards as a plain text TXT file. In Subtitle Edit, go to File, Open to open my text file. Make sure Generate Time Codes is marked. Click OK. In the main window, make sure that Select Current Subtitle While Playing is marked. Go to Auto Translate, Auto Translate. From Hebrew to English. Translate, OK. Go to Video to open my video file. Open. The waveform should be shown. If not, click to add waveform. But the subtitle timing is not correct because the start time of the first and last subtitles are not correct. My video is about 6 minutes long, but the starting time of the last subtitle is shown here at about 3.5 minutes. The reason for this being that the program calculates the end time of the subtitles according to speech speed, but doesn't take pauses into consideration. We'll handle that later. First, we'll go to Tools, Break Split Long Lines. Click OK. Note where the first subtitle should start and where the last subtitle should start, which is in this video at about the third second and at about the 6th minute. Go to Synchronization, Visual Sync. Adjust with Control and Arrow buttons the start of the first and the start of the last subtitle, or do so by clicking on the timeline of the video. Click Sync. Click OK. Now watch the start time of the first and the last subtitles and you'll see that they are now from the beginning until the end of the video. But the ones in between are not really at the right times, so you'll have to adjust them manually, which is really easy and really fast. Play the video and on the run start adjusting beginning and end times. למרות שלאקסל יש למעלה מ-500 פונקציות מובנות. תמיד יש חישובים מיוחדים שאנחנו... רוצים לעשות ולאקסל אין פונקציה מתאימה כדי לבצע אותם.
do not change the start and end times individually, but move the text block as a whole. Because these text blocks are timed according to speech speed, and it will mostly only require to adjust the ends a little bit. As you move the partition lines, you can see how automatically the times are changed. Drag with your left mouse button when catching the partition line between subtitles. The shape of the cursor will change. Drag with your left mouse button whole sections when the cursor has the shape of a hand. Roll your mouse wheel to move the timeline, the waveform, forward and backward. Click inside the wave to the place from where you want the video to continue. It happens that while adjusting the timing of your subtitles, that the remaining subtitles disappear out of sight on the timeline. Mark from the next subtitle until the last and adjust the timing of all of them in the synchronization menu. Adjust all times earlier later. That's all there is to it. Save the file. To save the translated subtitles, go to File, Save As. And to save the original subtitles, go to File, Save Original Subtitle As.